Alright y'all, so we're back in Meta Forces Squad 2, this is the 4 Monkey Meta Mod made by Pixel, and today we're going to be trying to finish up this mission here that we couldn't manage to finish the second mission in uh, the current campaign that he has, which I think is actually now going to have 8 missions, uh, because he updated the mod a whole ton uh, in the last couple of days here, and so we're going to be trying to finish this because there is a new mission, but in order to know what's happening in that mission, I'm pretty sure you have to finish this one because of the storyline so you kind of need to finish this mission to know what's happening so uh, we're going to be trying our best to finish this mission I'm playing in normal because of how incredible part this is um, so yeah let's just get on into this here um, alright so yeah use your squad to play hostile that's basically the whole point of this mod oh that's right there's like a guy over there um, it's basically just like Kiting the enemies is basically what you're supposed to be doing. But I suck at it. Especially in this game. You know, they have you do it a fair bit too. It's like a strategy in like Total War uh, Saga games too. Is they just kite the enemies. But I suck at it in both games. So, that's fun. Alright. So we're moving up. We're moving up in small increments. So I don't know if I need to tell them to book it. Then they can. Uh oh. Okay, thanks. Okay, there we go. So we tried those two almost right off the bat. Oh, yeah, another two guys on our side there. Alright. We got some down mid there. I'm gonna let them take some shots into these guys here before we just go searching for uh, their neighbors. Uh, body search. I'm trying to find. Oh, there we go. Come on. And it's just that guy. And there's one last dude all the way up in there. Which is dead. Perfect. Alright. So now we just gotta scavenge through uh, dead here and see if we can find some ammo. Because I could really use some ammo. Although they don't have any, so that's fun. Yeah, they don't have any ammo. Okay. Awesome. So it's like I think that the thing that we para dropped in was this e web turret along with the e web turret. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and trigger the uh, thing here. There we go. Now, the reason why I wasn't able to finish the last time is because I actually, I guess I skipped one of the cutscenes too fast. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna try and let them go as long as they can, because, um, I mean, I need to be able to finish the mission, but at the same time, uh, I'm in the middle of trying to fight all these people, and the cutscenes interrupt that, and make it so that I can't, uh, fight the enemy, so. They got some grenade launchers. I like how the sniper's looking that way, but <laughs> He just saw this guy right here. Alright, yep. Stick together, squad. Alright, here they come. Here they come, boys. Someone on the e web turret. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna have them shred that guy because. Uh, the big guys are the biggest problem. There we go. Turn around this way. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go, good. Alright. There we go, and there's obviously that guy too. Bam. Alright, flip him on over that way too, so now we can start opening fire into these guys. We have to make sure that they don't get too close to machine gunner because they can knock him off the machine gun. Just something that did happen to me one day. Please you know, just kill the enemies. Thank you. Damn. Right now there's people on this side. There we go. We're definitely doing a lot more damage this time. Compared to like the last time that I played this mod, I did it when I tried to do it on hard mode. This is definitely a fair bit easier than that. Just I kind of want to be able to move on to the next mission. I will try the next mission in hard mode, but I've already 
Um, really good with that names. Um, but I already, I already tried this mission, and the only reason why I wasn't successful was because um, I skipped one of the cutscenes too fast. But then I tried it afterwards on hard mode, so I could get the, the hard mode, and I could also get the cutscene, and it was just way too hard. So I mean, this is probably still going to be very difficult, but I don't know. Hop him off right now. Yep, we can also stick out to the jungle, but I'm gonna scavenge for ammo in a sec. Alright, so I just finished up looting all the bodies, and uh, yeah, we saw a massive rancor waiting for us over here. I think I take too long when I'm looting all the bodies, and so now, no, that's there. You may are gonna need to just throw some grenades at him. Now that that's how you kill them at this point is you just have to grenade them. There you go. Very nice. Oh, there's a bunch of guys on the sides. Uh oh. Right, hit you out of the body of the rancor. So you can actually see what you're shooting. And right, I'm gonna send one guy. Do you have detonators? You do. I'm gonna send you over here so you can detonate that. Now we're not gonna go through that opening, but at the end of the mission here, it would be good to have that side of the of this side of the area clear, so that then we can't exit if we ever need to. Right. Should probably be running away. Bam. Very nice. Alright, I think that's another Rancor that we see coming. This... Didn't blow up for whatever reason. Uh, stupid. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, whip out. And then these good old fashioned grenades here. Yeet it at him. And all y'all need to do is kill him. And then, yeah. You got a little close there, but it's fine. Do you have detonators? I want to detonate this. I, I know that we can. Can you know you cannot get through that? So come over here and we're gonna detonate that. So then, if we need to retreat through there, which we probably will, we can. Because I'm pretty sure that we do need to cut through here at one point. And if we don't det, if we don't like block, like unblock this, then yeah. I don't know if that's... That's not doing literally anything. Okay. Whatever. We'll go this way. And you know what? If we can't go that way, then we'll just pull up around the back here. That should be fine. Alright, wait for our bro. So come back because... It's kind of far away. Right, looks like a... Uh, bloody leg. That's not good. Ready for battle. What? And oh god. The fact that y'all really just Oh Right, they they used their detonators and it absolutely it decimated our guys. Oh my god. It just destroyed us, man. Yeah, we gotta make sure they do not they do not get too close to us. Because they didn't do any damage to this guy, but they slapped that guy. He is like almost dead. Right, we put some ammo here while we wait for him to heal up. Yeah. Okay, something that happens a lot in this game is my boys run out of ammo. And then we're just screwed. So I'm trying not to run out of ammo this game. And I think the way they want you to go is they want you to go there. Then they want you to go to the right side. Find this bark speeder. Then we also get ambushed, but I'm not paying attention, so that's not good. Where's the, uh, womp? Or, not the womper. No, it is a womper. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright. 
I'm not quite sure where the Wampa is, but is there is almost always a Wampa. That was a waste of a grenade. We just absolutely wasted that. Meth friends. Alright. Damn. Oh, great. Now night is falling. That means it's gonna get impossibly dark. That's basically what happened. I didn't manage to read it that in time last time that I played this. But that's what happened last time when I couldn't see anything. Is night had fallen. I wonder if you're not supposed to go through there, and that's why I can't break that, is because I'm not supposed to go through there. Nope, you're definitely not supposed to go through there. That's like the third freaking. That's the third thing I've wasted on this. So that's kind of annoying. Okay. I see how it is. Oh, uh oh. This is not looking very good. We just got. We're gonna get absolutely flanked in the spank here in a second. We're not careful. You don't have to grenade, you freaking idiots. Oh my god. Oh, we're so stupid. Uh, uh, uh. Guys, there's a rancor. Uh oh. Oh crap. Don't tell me I skipped it too fast again. Because if I did, I'm gonna be pissed. But it's because we're in the middle of a freaking fight. There's like a billion enemies trying to kill us right now. So I kind of had to. Man, I'm gonna be so pissed. If I just mess up this one. Do that and then run. Do that and then run. Got him. Nope, y'all did not have to get up. Alright, right, that guy there. Bet. Alright, nice. Alright, we're gonna take all the Rancor stuff because the Rancor has a ton of items for us. Anything from ammo to health packs, basically anything. The Rancor has it. And these little guys also have stuff. Unfortunately, it was like in the first mission, the Wampas had stuff, but now they don't have anything. So I'm not quite sure why. They just don't have anything now, but they don't, so it kind of is what it is. Alright, but we definitely need this ammo because. This happened to me the last time I did this. This might have been a reason why I lost. But everyone ran out of ammo. And it caused me to lose because the only person I had left was the guy with no ammo. Which is kind of sad. And oop, that's my friend there. I thought that was an enemy. But it'd be like, oh hell no. Alright, here we go. Run back over here, boys. Man, I really hope that didn't mess up this run. And everyone's trying to freaking heal up while we're booking it. Now I know over here there was a box. I saw it. It was like clear as day, right there. I didn't find out that'd be super bad. It's like I knew I had the box. I knew there was a box there. I just didn't know where it went. But there we go. All right, boys, let's keep on moving down this way. Now we have our first possible defensive location. I think. Or this just might be the uh, introduction to these little sandbag piles. Yep. Sandbag pals do offer. There we go. Take all the sandbags that we can. We can now have up to 12. And someone also has a gonk kit. 
So we can also place down an ammo generator as well. I really needed last game, but I didn't have it. I think it's because I missed that first ammo cache up there. Alright. Maybe a good strategic position. Not really. I do not think this is a good position at all. The better position is right here. And I'm not entirely sure. I think they tell you to hold here, and then they tell you to hold here. But, like, they're both awful spots for what happens. I think definitely the better spot is up this alley, which I think you can do. And I actually have a really dope strat for that. And I forget if it worked. I think the biggest problem is that I ran out of ammo. But, I won't be running out of ammo now because I have the gunk kit. And so, we can go through that, right? Alright, cool. That, like, just barely split apart there, but okay. I do not focus fire on the Wampa. The Wampa, while it does do a lot of damage, is also very slow for some reason this time. Usually they're really fast. So you go shred the Wampa, and then I think right there there's gonna be a, uh, another need for one of these. Bam. <clears throat> Run away with the entirety of the spot before someone gets absolutely blown to death, and then there we go. Now we run all the way down here. And this is basically what I got to in the first time that I played this mod. Uh, the first video, this is what I got to in that mod, or in that video. Because then my game glitched out, and uh, because I skipped too fast. So hopefully this time it doesn't glitch out, because then we'll get to see what happens. Oh, he took the lightsaber too. I think that's that cutscene. Yes, sir. Dope. So we got that. We got that, which we did not get the first time. And now we have to prepare our defense, our, our defense, which is something that we also did not get to do last time. And that's what we were supposed to do. And now you see down there, they just listed that you could defend the crossroads like this at the first time. Or, and I like this option a lot better. We can defend the canyon. I have a very special strat for defending the cannon, but first we have to get through all these wampas because they're freaking everywhere. And they're gonna keep us held up here for a fair while before we can actually manage to get through. Wait, someone shoot him! Nice, alright, cool. So there we go. Also a skeleton there, and I have a feeling that might be the master. Where did all of these wampas come from? Alright, cool. So, who has the least number of sandbags here? Alright, so you run back up here and grab this Elev turret. Second least number of sandbags is definitely not that guy. That guy has six. You have three, and you have the gonk droid. So even though you don't have a ton of sandbags, you do have the gonk droid, which is very important to this. So, one of the objectives is to get our Elev turret up to here. So we're definitely going to want to do that. But the best way to do this, the best strat that i found, just completely block off this area with sandbags. To the point that they cannot get through. And then just put the e-web turret right here. And then you're set. Because they can't get through. No, I think actually what happened last time is they came around the back. Which is not good. Uh, and so that is a problem with the setup. But I think this thing, if I just account for the fact that they can come through that way then we should be fine. Um, because, I mean, if I make sure that they don't come through the back, and of course we are wasting time by not setting up a bunch of sandbags, and that might actually hurt us. So I'm not going to go for the secondary objective, which I normally like to, but we're not going to go for the secondary objective this game. Uh, nope. And instead we're just going to go for uh, the primary objective. So this guy can get there and back in time, then we might as well try. There we go, cool. Okay, 
sandbags. So plop her down right there. And then we set up two sandbags right here. And then we kick one of y'all off. And I think it was you, yes, with the sandbags. And then what we do is we set up your three sandbags over there. And we also set up sandbags for that thing. And we kick you... nope. And then actually we wait for this guy. Because then you have an extra one she can set down right there. Let me kick you off. And then you have an extra one. That I will tell you where to set down. Do you have any more? Nope, you have the gonk droid. Which we shall set down. Right there. Let's get you out of there. And then we'll throw you right down there and then the BAM so there's our gonk droid the back side has now been defended so very nice alright get everyone uh, not that guy but we'll get everyone here and where's the heavy weapons man this is the heavy weapons man alright heavy weapons man get on in there Alright, cool. Yes, sir. So now what y'all are just gonna do here is I guess just stand here and shoot. Uh, we cannot have them too close. However, to that, uh, to the sandbags. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I already got that, but I guess not. Alright, do you have the grenade launcher? You do. Actually, I don't want shield on that. I'll put boss on that, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll throw boss on it. Right, so we're gonna have to be careful about. Y'all really had to do that, didn't you? Alright, well, we just completely destroyed our defenses. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. But if we had not managed, if we had not done that, then this would have worked very well. But we destroyed all our defenses now. So I think we're kind of screwed now. I'm gonna throw two of y'all on this thing. Okay, I want two boys. Oh, no, we have to constantly be watching the rear because they do have stuff that comes, that has a big brain. It is clearly not AI. It is much better than AI. And, yep, they just knocked off our boys that were on the uh, e-web turret because they got too close do not get back on the e-web turret mate alright and unfortunately we just destroyed all our other defenses and mate back up this guy right there right there you idiots oh my god okay this is actually kind of bad because we, don't, we have no escape and if they keep on running in here, then we might be screwed, but we'll see. They're swarming us, yes I know. Thanks for the hint. Alright, cool. Shoot him to death. Nice. Alright, they do have a, a Wampa and they also have the Big Daddy incoming. Uh, where is Heavy Weapons Man? Heavy Weapons Man. Actually, the Grenade Launcher doesn't do shit. Okay, never mind. Weapons man is not needed. We're gonna hit Big Daddy Boy. I right, keep running. Oh, he's shredding our boys. They're shredding our boys. They're shredding the boys. Not the boys. Alright, there we go. We got him. I just got him up. Someone said they're running low on ammo, and I highly doubt that, but we're still just gonna go in and give them back some ammo anyway. Bam. Alright. Uh oh, what's happening? What the hell do they have coming up next here? Finish them off, nice. Alright, if we can get to the part where they're telling me to just shoot the rest of them to death, then that's, that's good. Hope they have Wampas inbound. They have many Wampas inbound. In fact, I think Wampas are the top priority here. And then it's going to be all the infantry, because the infantry has not ran across yet. Oh, that's a Rancor, okay. 
Hold up, mate. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. That's a Rancor. That's a Rancor, and now he's just gonna kill some boys. Right there, kill him. I kill the Wampa. No, kill the Wampa. No, kill the Wampa. You idiots. Oh my fucking god, you idiots. Oh my fucking god. Alright, this guy's dead now. Shred him. Kill that guy. Please, open fire, you idiots. Oh my god. That was so stupid. Oh my Jesus. Alright, run away. Got him, got him, got him. Go heal up that guy. How the fuck am I supposed to heal him? Alright, these Rancors are making it almost, like, damn near impossible to do literally anything. It's fine, though. Alright, there we go. We still have three of us. What's coming? Oh, there's a Wampa. Great. Alright, cool. Right, you're out of ammo, I guess. Run over here, please. Big brain, big brain. Oh my god, but my brain is so big right now. Nope, he's dead. Are you freaking kidding me? I thought I just saved his life, but apparently not. He's still dead. Amazing. Yes, that's fun. What are you holding? You're holding a grenade right now. Which is awesome. I think their attack is stopping, though. Is amazing. You know what? The fact that they have less people making me want to press out here. This could be dumb, but we'll see. Come on, boys. Come on. Shred them. We did lose someone, unfortunately, for us. And we held the security position. Let's go. God dang, man. Okay. Awesome. So we held the strategic position. We did unfortunately lose a comrade though, which is this man right here. I cannot tell who that is, although I think I can just check everyone that we have left. Heavy weapons man, sniper, so we lost the medic, which is fine. Everyone here is a medic, so he didn't really bring anything to the table other than another gun, which is also very important, but... It's a slave? Just fire on the fat lizard, guys. The fat lizard. Kill it. What the? He didn't even get away. He's right there. Whatever, man. That was way too fast. For me to shoot him. The head westward down the river. Okay. What the hell? Well, that's a rancor. And a half right there. Oh, we're getting also surrounded. We're also getting surrounded, though. We're also getting surrounded, though. We're also getting absolutely surrounded. Holy. Alright, cool. We killed all the infantry, which is the biggest problem. Keep running, you stupid people. God damn. These people are so stupid. Alright, nope, he's dead, but we did kill him, and then now we just have this other guy here, which I think should die to this grenade. I pray to God it dies. Nope, it did not die. It's fine. Heal up your comrade there, bud. Keep running, both of y'all. Keep on running. We go over here. You need to keep on running. Wait, right behind you. There's a guy trying to kill you. You're telling me you're gonna stop running? I dope. Alright, so there we go. We survived that, thankfully. With everyone that we have left alive. There we go. Alright. 
Well, I should have known that something was going to come around from the behind, but I did not suspect that. Okay, cool. I have a feeling that something's going to attack us again now. So we're going to slowly walk our way up here. This little stone there. Of enemies up there. Nothing from behind. But there's something from the right, right in front of our faces. Got him. Now let me guess, it's gonna be there's gonna be something else, I bet you. Some other massive creature that comes out of nowhere. Like a Rancor. Got them there. Then there's this guy right here. Cool. Alright, so we dealt with that. Keep on moving. If it aggroes to us, then we'll fight it. I don't know. Yeah, but you guys are not doing nearly enough damage by shooting it, so... Don't wait here. Yeah. I'm over in there with it. Eat the grenade. There you go, that died a lot faster now that we did that. Cool, let's go. Headed west. Here's the squad. Here's the boys. Now it cuts to another cutscene. Uh oh. Smooth smoke at 10 o'clock. Empty campsite, no signs of life. Wasn't this in the first one? Yeah, wait, we did go to a, uh, we did go to a campsite, right? Yeah, this is the cut, this is the, like, thumbnail I used. It is the second one. What the hell am I gonna find at this campsite, man? Alright. And if I have to... Uh, Alright. What do we have hiding at the campsite? Alright. Trooper casualties. Something more than Nate. Oh my god, squad, take cover. Yes, yes, it is very much. Take cover, please. So we get that. Uh, where did the uh, where's the people? I don't think this is worthwhile investment. Actually, I thought it might be, but it's definitely not. Bad. What are you doing? It's like reaching towards the sky. Second, there, right, cool. Go, 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 go. Slap him. Slap him. Bam. Got him. Alright. So, I mean, I think I survived. Right? Oh, don't tell me I skipped too fast. I bet you what the problem is. Alright, I'm gonna go in a little bit safe. Alright, so it turns out actually that autosave that I had on this game was actually after we fought the battle. I did not realize that until now. But it is actually close enough to the next objective here that I went ahead and loaded this up instead. Um, so uh, I could not figure out a way to win the last objective. There just wasn't a way for me to do it. Uh, and so this time I managed to kill the slave uh, trader that we saw running, and they brought up a little uh, a little message here. Uh, so if you're down, what are Trandoshans doing? 
on this planet? This is a good question. I know there's a whole bunch of extra dialogue. There is a way to win this mission. I'm just not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. I, it might be the fact that you kind of want to have your whole squad alive, and I keep on losing at the very least one member of the squad every time. So, we might need to restart this again, but I don't know if I want to do that. Because this mission is a little bit but really. Um, there's time intensive I can play this. It's a good mission, but I've had to play this mission like 10 times. Alright. Go ahead and shred these two blokes. Go. Alright, come on over here. Uh, steal some ammo, stuffs like that. Alright, there we go. Cool. Now we're getting into a little firefight with the people across the way, except they don't have any guns. So they're kind of screwed here. Uh, but if they can get close to you, then they are. And also, like, I wonder who they're getting supplied by. Them. Like, I think this mission, this mod is really dope. Props to Pixel for making it. It's just it is kind of difficult. I mean, it might just be because I'm bad at kiting and stuff like that. I'm just better at it, but still. Uh, I can't wait to play the next mission, which I was gonna record this video as that mission. Then I realized that we're not gonna have any idea about what's happening unless I play this mission. So that's what got us here. But you can just go that. Um, because I decided that I should probably play, I should probably play this mission first, because, uh, really? There we go. Uh, so then we can at least know what's happening next time. And also, uh, I said last weekend that I was, good that this weekend, or that it was gonna be a weekend for me to complete all the old Star Wars. Oh, there we go, there are actually people there this time. Last time I played this, there wasn't anyone there. Oh, finally! Where is your master? He's beating the shit out of that clone ship. Damn. Stick your head in that campfire over there. Dang, okay. It's miserable. The sound is wasting our time. Put an end to it. Oh my god. Mercenary bastards. Yeah, so I think killing, not killing the tra the uh, slave trader, was what was making it not work. So in that case, I wouldn't say he's a minor objective. He's definitely like a major, like a primary objective is to kill him. All right, Scott, we gotta eliminate. Uh, you know, let's see if I do this. Yep. All right, so I guess like you better kill that stray figure, so I would not say he's a secondary, he's definitely a primary objective. 110% man, he is like a primary, like if you do not kill him, then, then you're not going to be able to play the rest of the mission objective, so I would definitely... Yeah, so if you ever do decide to play this mod, um... Make sure you kill a slave trader on this mission, or else you're not going to be able to see any of the other missions. You're not going to be able to complete the mission. Because... Over here... This guy is healing, we shot him, there we go, nice. Our area clear, got trooper casualty, we didn't make it, Sag. Let's move on. Here we go, I think this is nearing the end of the mission here. From what I saw when I was looking at it in editor mode. That's sad. I'm glad I finally figured out how to win this mission, though. So then y'all can get the ending that you deserve. Also, so I can know what's happening. Here we go. Come on, boys. Give me that dope, dope, uh, cutscene of y'all walking down the mountain. Go! Look, there's all four of them. That's nice. Because <laughs> they're still alive, we know that much. Head down river. I mean, if you get them before the mercenaries do. Man, look at that. Oh, I was about to take a screenshot of that. That is an amazing screenshot. Oh, 
awesome, bro. This is this is dope though. These cinematics are amazing. There we go. Thanks for playing a Pixels mission. Yep. Of course, this is Pixel to black screen. I was about to take another thumbnail, but I guess not. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to check out uh, the full on command mod on the Steam Workshop. It's a really dope mod, uh, and it currently has three bit, uh, or four missions available: one prologue, and then three missions in the uh, the next campaign. Or I don't even know how to pronounce it, but still. Uh, and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.